Caitlin's business, Poor House Sorghum, continues to grow, which led them to build this commercial kitchen where they make their products. Caitlin's older cousin and friend designed the new logo for Poor House Sorghum, which can be found on both the syrup and the barbecue sauce. The sauce is their latest offering, providing them with a shelf-stable product that they can sell in the off-season when they can't make syrup. It's one of those things that syrup lasts forever, but when people read a date of when something's made and they see last year, they think, oh, well, I want something fresh. So we were trying to figure out ways to repurpose the sorghum that not necessarily no one was buying, but you had to have the right consumer for it. You had to have someone who knew what sorghum was. And so we decided that barbecue sauce would kind of be that way to do that. So then we kind of came across our own little concoction and uh, we got it approved so we could use it all the time. And it's kind of what we do now. After showing me how she makes the sauce, Caitlin gives me a taste. When you explain this to people, how would you explain the flavor of sorghum syrup? It has a very unique flavor. So it's a flavor all of its own, but it is very sweet. Um, and so sorghum is usually used on like biscuits and butter or coffee. It's a very breakfast time kind of food for a lot of people around here, but it can be used to bake with for a lot of things. So it's just a natural sweetener, but it does have a flavor of its own. So okay. try it out. Oh yeah, it's good. Thank it you. is kind of like molasses, but mm -hmm. different. Yeah, it has a flavor all of its own, so. Yeah, this yeah. is wonderful. Caitlin and her grandfather's recipe is delicious, and it's no surprise they've expanded from farmer's markets to local restaurants. 